Hello, it's your old friend, the Kosher Hand. The thought I'm going to share with you is why is self-defense only permitted if done incompetently? The beef right now against Israel is that no Israelis are getting hurt. Well, leaving aside the fact that they're burning some people's fields and might cause uh, somebody to become homeless and or starve, but um, that I call that hurt. But never mind. It would be acceptable, apparently, for Israel to fire at its enemies if, in fact, they first wait until somebody on the Israeli side is bleeding. I'm a soldier. I was taught I was supposed to try to prevent civilians from bleeding. Why does that lesson not apply suddenly in the bounds of the old mandate? It doesn't. Israel has to defend the border frontier. Because they're not going to tear down the border frontier, walk five steps into Israel, sit down, and be happy. At what point is a people allowed to defend themselves against someone whose avowed goal is the murder of Oh, roughly 6 million Jews, an interesting number, considering. This is not about us moving the embassy. They have this protest every year. This is not about anything but the fact uh, Hamas wanted a violent set of demonstrations at which its own people, including and most especially its children, would be murdered. The Palestinians, like Hamas, are truly, absolutely anti-Semitic in all senses of the word. They are anti-Jewish, who are Semites. They're anti-Palestinian, who are also Semites. They are anti-Semitic. They're suicidal and deluded. And the leadership doesn't care. The leadership is paying people to go out, get murdered, get killed, and collect money for their families, and 72 virgins. And then acts upset when the IDF gives them the money for their family and the 72 virgins. When your enemy gives you exactly what you want, a hospitable, honorable people would thank them, not attack them. This is the kosher ham. I really wish the world would let me be more wishy-washy. Please subscribe. Please let, let me notify you. Try to have a nice day.